This is a 47-year-old gentleman with worsening left elbow pain and stiffness. He is able to range his elbow from 35 to 140 degrees flexion extension and 60 degrees, 70 degrees pronation supination. Imaging shows early degenerative changes affecting the coronoid and olecranon fossae and tips. The patient was taken to the OR and placed in a lateral decubitus position with the elbow over an arm holding. After marking relevant surface anatomy and raising the tourniquet, the joint was insufflated and the proximal anteromedial portal established. Extensive synovitis, as well as multiple osteophytes and loose bodies, were noted in the radiocapitellar and ulnohumeral joints. The proximal anterolateral portal was established as the working portal. A thorough debridement of the synovitis was performed with a shaver and loose bodies were removed with a grasper. Initially, the coronoid fossa was debrided of osteophytes and overlying fibrous tissue. Subsequently, the area around the radial head was debrided of osteophytes while being careful not to damage articular cartilage. A burr was introduced to debride remaining sclerotic osteophytes and reveal the native coronoid. A burr and shaver were alternately used to re-establish the contour of the coronoid tip. An arthroscopic biter was used to do an anterior capsular release from lateral to medial or radial to ulna. Next, an accessory posterior lateral portal was utilized for visualization and a direct posterior portal was utilized as the working portal. Numerous osteophytes and multiple loose bodies filled the olecranon fossa. These were mobilized and subsequently removed with a combination of a burr initially, which was then followed by an arthroscopic osteotome and occasionally with a shaver. Final contouring of the olecranon fossa was done with a burr. The elbow was ranged to ensure that no bony impingement was present. Prior to leaving the OR, the elbow was gently manipulated to release any anterior soft tissue restraints. Post-op x-rays show removal of osteophytes and normal bony contour. At two months follow-up, the patient has no elbow pain or stiffness and has full range of motion in the flexion extension and pronation supination planes.